play chat. Podcast guys, right then. Hey, how you doing, Mr. Buddha? I'm doing good, sir. How are you? Hey, I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm doing a podcast, uh, you know, for the city, the Be Bobby Beats podcast. And man, I'd really love to interview you and uh, one or two of your higher ups. A podcast. A podcast. It's like an interview. I sit down and interview you about your business and, uh, you know, uh, you know, basically, so the city can get to know you, your company, and you know, hopefully, brings more business over here as well. Oh, sure, all right, no problem. You famous? Yeah, I only need like ten or fifteen minutes of your time. You know, my last three podcasts have been very successful. My last three interviews are what? Yeah, yeah, interview. Uh, you want to find a place uh, nice and quiet? You and one other person that you select. My office. All right. Lando, come. Finally, chat, we finally got a fucking interview. <laughs> Bjorn, remember what I fucking told you about, huh? Oh, well, Tony here said you're an idiot. He said what? He said you're an idiot and the car is mine. Tony, I love you with all my heart. The nerds are literally all my children. I'm like the mama bear. You understand <laughs> me? You fuck with my nerds, Tony. I don't have to call your ass. With love. All right, come on, sir. All right. All right, so what do you want to know? All right, hold on one second. Let me sit back down. Well, sir, um, first, with your permission, I'd like to turn on the recorder. Uh, sure. Okay, just I uh, just want to make sure. Okay. All right. So this is the Bobby Beats podcast, and we're here with uh, Emperor Mister Lang Buddha of the Roosters Rest, sir. How do you do today? How's everything going today, Mister Buddha? Everything's going good, you know, sir. Just making money, fucking bitches. What else is new? All right, all right. So if you w would like to introduce yourself to the podcast, so the people who don't know you who are hearing this for the first time. Can uh, know who you are, what you're about, and what you do here at the Rooster's Rest. Uh, my name's Lang. I do nothing at Rooster's Rest. I'm simply an owner. Uh, Petunia Brookshire is actually the CEO and does all the legwork. I just make sure that the uh, company overall uh, doesn't fall apart. On top of that, I do run various businesses. This isn't the only one. Oh, would you like to talk about your various businesses? Uh, yes, they're very out of seas. You know, foreign business, sir. Oh, foreign business. Okay, okay. So you're a businessman. How long have you been a businessman, Mr. Lang? Mr. Buddha? Uh, pretty much all my life. And uh, what brought you to Los Santos uh, to buy this fine establishment here? Uh, I did not purchase the establishment. It's been in my family for a very long time. Uh, when I was a small boy, mm -hmm. my grandmother moved us here from China. Oh, wow. And my it's been in your family for, for how many mother. generations? Uh, it's been my family for, uh, you know, a long, long time. I'm talking like maybe 100 years, maybe over that. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's pretty impressive, you know? That means this establishment is pretty, like, precious to you. Uh, yes, it means everything to me, simply because it was my grandmother's dying wish to run a successful business. Oh, wow. Wow, that's, that's deep. So I have to ask you, you know, it's what all of Los Santos is wondering. Mr. Buddha, what is in your tea? Is that a secret recipe of your family? Uh, actually, no. It's where corporate business comes in, and I actually have a contact in the Himalayan mountains who uh, drones the tea leaves over to my restaurant. Oh, okay. So, so I get the freshest tea leaves out of anybody else in the world, actually. Oh, so it's just the freshest tea leaf. There's no secret way to prepare it or anything like that? Wow. Not really, sir. Just hot water, put a couple of leaves in, let it fucking, you know, get hot. About 20 minutes, pull out the pot, a little bit of honey. That's the sugar, and you're good to go. All right, all right. So I, I have a question. You know, I look at your menu, and it just it says tea. You know, I'm surprised you didn't give it like a like a, a special name or something. Have you ever considered naming the tea something? Uh, I don't know, just any name. I uh, know, sir. We wish to resonate with everybody in the world. When they think tea, they have their own thought about it. If you give it a name, then they're not going to think about tea. They're going to think about the name of the tea. Mmm, man, that. that did you learn that in, in, in some kind of business school? That sounds like something that uh, I, I would hear in marketing, I feel like, or something like that. Some kind of psychology know, course. Taught me everything I know. That's fantastic. All right, well, I want to get into some, some juicy stuff. Now, 
Uh, feel free to answer or not answer. But uh, okay. there's other businesses, obviously, that you're competing with in Los Santos. And I, I have to know, do you consider any other business, any other food restaurant or luxury restaurant, just such as yourself, to be competition to Rooster's Rest? Uh, sure, I don't believe in competition. Mm, explain. I believe, like, uh, you know, just work hard on everybody else, and you have no issues. That's what I do every day. Oh, so so you don't you don't consider a burger shot or or uh, uh, the Mirror Park Tavern to be any kind of of, of competition? You, you just equals is what you're saying. I'm not even really equal, sir. No offense to them, they're just not even on my radar because I know I outwork anybody in the city when it comes to a business. Oh wow, wow. Okay, okay. So, um. So you're saying you're the hardest worker in the city when it comes to business. You know, that's that's interesting. Um, well, not just me, right? There's a team mm -hmm. behind uh, every good business, so. Oh, is there anybody you want, you want to shout out that's on your team that, you know, really helps you out around here who who, who really shine? You know, maybe like an employee of the month, so to, so to speak. Uh, well, we do employee of the week every week, and we've had a couple, but I would say the entire staff, uh, everybody except for Tao Chen. Mm -hmm. every, uh, wait, we're, except? We're hard here. Everybody except for, for Tao? Uh, yes, correct. Okay, uh, you want to you want to elaborate on why everyone except Tao? Um, yeah, I'm interested. I know he skips shifts, he's lazy sometimes, but we love him. We have to. He's family. Oh, well, that's 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 good. You know, I'm surprised. Uh, I mean, since you consider him fam family, you don't fire him. You know, that's really nice. That's really nice. I mean, he works hard here and there. Okay, okay. Well, I only got a few more questions for you. Um, in regards to. I, I remember a couple of weeks ago, maybe a few weeks back, I, I remember hearing that there was uh, some beef between Rooster's Rest and Burger Shot. Is that still going on? Is there any bad blood between you and Burger Shot? Rooster's Rest and Burger Shot? I mean, it was never really bad bad blood, sir. It was just healthy, uh, healthy competition, right? Oh, okay, okay. And we use that for a way to fuel our employees to work harder. Oh, nice. How did that work out for you? Did it work out? Uh, I mean, I guess it did work out. You know, Kevin Wupapar has disappeared. Maybe he's scared of the competition now, but I would say that the new oh, uh, wow. face oh, wow. of the place, uh, Mr. Robert, the Polish guy, mm -hmm. I say we're on good terms, good relationship. You know, we uh, you know respect each other and we understand that we're just running a business. Okay. To 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 go back to that that little piece you just said there. You said um. You said you might be the reason why Kevin Whippaloo left the city. Is that, is that what you said? I did not say that, sir. Well. You said something about you scared someone away. No, I said he might be scared of competition. Oh, Asshole, what are you doing here? I'm trying to. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, sir. I just that's why I went back and wanted to clear it up so that you could clear that up for everybody who's going to be listening to this, sir. No I disrespect at all. I can't even with a part left the city. Okay. 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 So now you said why? Okay. I so he was scared of the competition. Oh, of Rooster's Rest. Interesting. Interesting. So what sets you apart? What sets Rooster Rest apart? from all the other restaurants out here? Well, our employees, really. Mm. You want to elaborate? Any details? Uh, we offer a unique experience, sir. You're not going to walk in here and deal with uh, some, you know, white collar, you know, fucking normal mm. person. Everybody here is weird mm. shit, if I'm being honest. Mm. And okay. This is a, offers a unique experience every time you walk in. Mm. You know, I, I will say, you know, from my personal experience, you do have the most polite employees I've I've ran into across the entire city. So, you know, kudos to Roosters Rest and you for that. Like, that's that's impressive because. I mean, everybody else is a dick out there, talk, my friend. We try, you know. Yeah. So, you know, I don't want to I don't want to waste it too much of your time. I know you're a busy man. So my last and final question is just uh, if you want to give anybody or anything a shout out. Uh, this is your time. I normally let everybody I interview just give a shout out to whoever they want to give a shout out to. Any sponsors you might want to uh, shout, shout out? Anything out like that? Nerds who I work very hard. Okay. Shout out to Drea who puts fantastic events together. Shout out to Petunia who runs a very good business. Shout out to Tao for being useless. Uh, shout out to Donnie for being almost more useless than Tao. But I love you. And uh, shout out to everybody else who you know comes and buys our team because of business. We appreciate you guys very much. All right. All right. Well, uh, thank you for your time. Mr. Buddha, and this is Bobby Beats signing out of the Bobby Beats podcast. All right, I'm going to turn oh, this yeah. off. Glory to the cock. Glory to the cock. All right. Sir, I want to thank right. you for your time. You know, I know you're a busy man. And I just want you to know I appreciate uh, this interview. That'll be 10 grand, sir. Uh, uh, I was going to put it up. Uh, um, uh, 10, 10. I mean, this, this, this kind of, I was hoping this would help your, your business even more, sir. Like this was a, I, you know, 
an opportunity. How many followers you got? Say that again. How many followers do you have? Uh, well, we have 10,000 viewers as of yesterday. I just started a podcast two days ago. All right. Deal. All right. All right, Mr. Puto. Well, um, thank you for your time. You're very, in, you're very intimi intimidating. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to walk this way. Yeah, well. This door is unlocked, right? Got to be intimidating. Oh, oh God. I'm locked. Man, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You're, I can learn a lot from you, uh, Mr. Buddha. <laughs> I'm scared of... I'm scared. Okay. <clears throat> All right, uh, thank you for your time, and you have a good day. You too, sir. Thank you for, uh, you know, the opportunity. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. It'll be on SoundCloud tomorrow. I'll bring you the link. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I thought Bobby was about to die. <laughs> <laughs> Nico, really thank you for the follow. Chris, thank you for the follow. Yes. Uh, Fingal, you know, like Felia, thank you for the follow. He's just old. I don't want. I don't want to fuck old. <laughs> Lord Omelet, what's up? I hope Tony does the podcast. Uh, yeah, maybe one of these days we'll do it with him. Uh, I just need to know more about Tony. Bobby needs to know more about Tony. I don't want to just do a podcast unless Bobby knows something about them. You know. Hey, where's Donnie? Is Donnie around? I was hoping for some more juicy material out of that. Like I was hoping he was gonna like. The way, man. Uh, oh, damn it. oh, oh, wow. Okay. Well, good luck with that. I was hoping he was gonna like shit on other other companies a little bit more, but it's okay. You know, he still said some things that could trigger some people. You know. Hey, this is entertaining as hell, man. Keep up the good work. Hey, thank you, Chris. Thank you, thank you. Hey, J Blob, J Blob. Thank you for the follow. Where you guys coming from? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're gonna go back to Burger Shot, see if we can get uh, a second interview today. All right. Fish, Fisherable, what's up? How you doing? Zack Attack, how you doing? Lost Octopus, how you doing? Shelly, Lord Omelette. Everybody else in the chat, what's up? What's up? How you doing? How you doing? Oh God, I almost died, chat. I almost died right there. <clears throat> yeah, I enjoyed the podcast, man. I enjoyed the podcast. Um, I didn't expect to interview uh, Buddha, and it, this is what I'm talking about. You see how I, I didn't—I don't know much about Buddha or the Roosters Rest, so I didn't really have like I don't know if there's any drama or anything, right? So it was kind of hard for me to like ask him questions, but he gave me some stuff that I could tug on. But he Buddha acted like such a nice guy that I, you know he he was such a nice guy that it was really hard to get him to um, to say something that would start. You know, and he like that would trigger other characters to responding. You know what I mean? But it was still interesting nonetheless. He's hard. He, he's a he's a hard ass for sure. Like to talk to. Came from Buddha Stream. This idea is sick, man. Hey, thank you, dude. Thank you for the follow, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it was it was really interesting to do the interview with him. Bobby, I want Bobby to learn more about Buddha and the Roosters Rest and any potential enemies he might have. So um, Bobby can interview them. And, you know, and, and kind of get a, a different take on Buddha, right? Because right now, Bobby's take on Buddha is he's an intimidating, polite businessman. Imagine if somebody comes to, on Bobby's podcast and tells him that, you know, Buddha is like a killer or some shit behind the scenes or whatever, right? It'd be really interesting. Laying as a character doesn't uh, like to open up to people he doesn't know. Yeah, and, and that's, 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 that's good. That's good. And it scared Bobby, you know? It was a harder interview than I, I anticipated, but I hope I, I hope I made it entertaining enough and interesting enough for him to be open to another interview in the future. That's what I want. I want him to be open to a, a more, you know, a better, uh, not, not, not a better, I don't want to say better interview because that interview was fine, but uh, a more open interview in the future. You know? I think that could be really interesting. Crusader, thank you. Crusader Crusader Kitten. I like it. I like the name. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see if we can get this burger.